go low, normal to you. Stop, stop trying to be all man. Stop. Show your emotions, baby. All right, all right. You're all tripping. Right. So number two movie, number two movie of the summer of 2012. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. He knows what it is. For me, that movie personally, I don't know if you agree with me, but number two is going to be for me, The Avengers. You agree with them? I'm gonna agree. You're gonna agree. Awesome. I'm gonna agree. Right. <laughs> Adventure Town. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Avengers, excellent movie. Um, well done. All, I, I, when I first heard about it, I thought it was awful. I thought Disney was going to ruin it. How could they put all these personalities in this movie? And then they said Joss Whedon was doing it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to let him do his thing because I trust Joss, Joss Whedon. Whedon. He, does, he does everything that I like, okay? Right. Firefly, it was before its time. Love it. For all those people who don't know what it is, you don't you don't care about life. Need to check your back. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, number two movie. Uh, it, like I said, it had everything you wanted. It had action. It had comedy. It had that little sadness. You know, it definitely had some sadness. And it hit me and weird because I there's a death of a character. And like I said, if you haven't seen the spoiler, you should have seen it like a billion times by now. Colson's Pretty death, much. you know? Yeah. When that happened, I was just like, are you serious? Yeah, Colson, like, yeah I cause... Mean, Colson was just like, character was just kind of a D, he was kind of a D-bag, but I liked him. Yeah, pretty much. And and, and mm. when he dies, you're just like, seriously? Colson? Because why? the thing, the reason why you put so much investment into Colson and the death is that the fact that you watched him from the first Iron Man movie? He sat around following Tony Stark, asking him, trying to sign papers and stuff. And then you saw him in the second Iron Man movie, and then you saw him in Thor. And as you saw this guy, you were liking this dude because he was getting in these superheroes' faces and trying to get them to sign up with something that. The Avengers. He was trying yeah. to sign them all up one yeah. by one, and for the, I guess, yeah, and did he? Like I don't even. Yeah, don't well, he he did that with Iron Man. He he did that with, with Tony. Tony. Yeah, and uh, then in Iron Man two, they disbanded it, and then in the Avengers, and in the Avengers, they you know redid it and redid got it all started it. back up. The so initiative. Well, um, yes. Coulson, Coulson was such a popular character. They wrote him in like all the comics. You know, he's in he's in Marvel now. He's all around Marvel now. He's in he's in uh, the the Spider Man animated series that's out on like uh, the yeah. Tune Disney. Or he's whatever, actually right the principal. Yeah, he's the he's principal. The it's principal. hilarious, by the way. If you guys haven't seen it, it's, it's on, it's on Netflix. It's a good show. You. Check it out. Anyways, though, so, um, Thor's character, Loki's character. Okay, let me just say this right now. I've I've always thought Loki was a pretty cool bad guy, and I mean I like his character. I liked him a lot in Thor. I liked him a lot in Thor, and then he comes out in this movie and he does a, a kick-ass job. You know he's doing good, and you get like so many fangirls. Oh my God, Tom Hiddleston! Oh my God, Loki! He's so cool. And I was like, did you even watch Thor? No, <laughs> because when Thor no. came out, nobody cared. Nobody did. But when the Avengers comes out, he's got longer hair. Oh my God, Loki! You know, yeah. chill out. It was Calm a movie. Tom Hulls is a good actor. Uh, Loki's a good character. But he's not like a make or break. You know what I'm saying? Have you guys seen like villains from other movies? You yeah, know? like for example, if you look at Loki, I, when I see him and look at him, at times I think of another completely different franchise. I know I'm going off the ropes here. But um, Starscream. Sometimes yeah, I yeah. tend to think he's a star screen from Transformers to a Megatron. Definitely. And literally, he he likes to pull the strings, but he just doesn't have the gall to to go with everything. He, he sets tries. things he up, but he just doesn't go with it. In the end, he's fully responsible for all his crimes, mm -hmm. but he just he had no control over it. He just wasn't the leader that he was meant to be. Even though in this movie, Loki spends the whole movie trying to make himself a, a proud leader, a king, a noble a one, or something yeah. like a ruler. You know what? I'm telling you guys what. I'm going to be completely honest right now. Tom Huddleston, or, or Loki, okay, his character was, in my opinion, better in Thor than he was in the Avengers, and I say that because there is a specific scene I'm thinking of in in Thor, and it was the scene where he found out he's a frost giant, and he uh, he confronts Odin about it, 
you know, and he's he's telling Odin, Odin that uh, he didn't tell him because he, uh, he knew that uh, Loki was a monster, you know, the monster that, that parents tell their children about before they sleep and all this and that. Right. And he's asking Odin why he didn't say anything. That scene, that was so freaking emotional. It, it, was, it was needed. It was necessary. It worked. It was perfect. It was well done, well acted. Both performances, tremendous, okay? And, and I don't use that word a lot. And it was it was good, <laughs> and that scene right there was like you know what Tom Huddleston as Loki super good choice Loki good villain I'm digging this I want to see him again and yes. we did and then you know everybody sees the Avengers and they're like oh my god he cut that guy's eyeball out that's so cool I'm just like the Joker cut you know a guy's eyeball out with a pencil so that's probably a little little bit cooler um, mm -hmm. anyway though like all the action. The last like hour of the movie was just action. Captain America. I, I personally like Captain America a lot. Every scene with Captain America in it was was either funny or just pretty cool to me. Uh, Iron Man did his thing. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. was born to be Tony Stark. I don't and care. Like Holmes, apparently. Yeah, you know, pretty much. And I don't care what anybody says. You look at that man. You take a comic book. You look at Tony Stark. You look at Robert Downey Jr. And then you compare the two. He looks just like that dude. Yeah. I don't care. Even if he was to shave his head, he would still look like Tony Stark. He was <laughs> made for this particular movie. He was made for the Avengers. He was made for Iron Man 1 and 2. Robert Downey Jr. wasn't born. He was made. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it was just great, and you know his interaction with it, everybody, Black Widow, even Jarvis, and whatnot, and you know Coulson Pepper. and Pepper, you know Shaft. Every single, <laughs> every single person he dealt with in that entire. Is that, I just wonder, is that just me? Like like Sam L. Jackson, man. Like he every every time I saw him, even though he had the patch on his eye, you know he had the like gross whatever that makeup was, I was just like Shaft. Every Over time. That and then every time he got seriously intense, I felt like he was just, say what again? And yeah. that, that's what I felt like he was going to do. Say what again? <laughs> I'm tired of these motherfucking <laughs> anti-gods. <laughs> Loki, does Tony Stark look like a... <laughs> does he? Does he? Why are you trying to... Alright. No, Alright. Enough of that. Enough of that. Out of there. Uh, Anyways, the movie, like I said, it was good. The last hour was just action. Scarlett Johansson, uh, Scarlett Johansson, and then more Scarlett Johansson. I mean, did you see Scarlett Johansson in this movie? Oh Girls, God. women, the straightest oh woman in the world my. could see Scarlett Johansson in this movie and just be like, you know what? Ooh. I like that. The first scene where she's being interrogated oh my God. by Russians. She is she. Oh my God. She was. I could have watched a whole movie yes, with just Scarlett Johansson. I don't care. <laughs> there needs to be a Black Widow movie or you something. Know, it doesn't need to be a Black Widow movie. There just needs to be some more Scarlett Johansson. Exactly. Yeah. In in a black latex suit. It just going hard just with guns. Going just hard. <laughs> Alright guys. Um, Anyways. I'm going to move on to, to my favorite part. Go ahead. About, about the Avengers. Okay. Personally. Favorite part about the Avengers, definitely the Hulk. Like, and, and it's not even for his scene that he's super familiar for, like no. when he's like destroying Loki or whatever. No, that's it's not because the Hulk is just a good freaking character. Okay, you, know you 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 put the Hulk in a movie when he freaking transforms, everybody shuts up and they watch. Okay, that's what you want with a character. Iron Man puts on a suit, you be, you're quiet and you watch it, but you're still kind of chatting with your buddy. You're like, hey, that looks cool. When the Hulk transforms, everybody shuts up. This is what happens right here. Exactly. That's what you want. Hulk transformed this movie. He had like a hairy chest and everything. Yeah, he was natural. It's like <laughs> he, was he was growing. He didn't look like he, Twilight Hulk. No, you know? he, he was didn't, like man Hulk. He didn't look like the Incredible Hulk, where he didn't look like he Bruce did. Banner anymore. He just he like was just he had to hit the face a little bit. A but he, little bit. He was Hulk was scary. Okay, he I'll was scary. That. He was good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, in the Avengers, I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a problem. And he was, and in the first scene where Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow, was going up against him, and he was transforming and stuff, you felt scared. 
Like, literally, you thought he was going to kill her. The only thing that Hulk didn't do that I wanted him to do was say Hulk smash, but then Captain America kind of says it for us. He's like, Hulk, smash. smash. And I love just, it. That was and he grinned. He grinned. Oh, he knew what he, he was just telling. Wrecks me. things. Do you know that? That's what you want the Hulk to do. You want the Hulk to just completely destroy stuff, and he does. He did it. It was excellent. I can't wait to see him do it again. I would love to see an Incredible Hulk movie. Another a new yeah. Hulk movie. I like would he already love fought. Like he, they they set it up for him to fight like the leader. I guess yeah, the leader. There's the leader. Um, he already he beat the Abomination, so we don't need that again. True. But there's like there's plenty. Okay, you there's know what? Plenty there's plenty of Hulk villains out there. Okay, yeah, and Rock, Red Hulk. <laughs> Red no, we Hulk. call him Rock now. That's what I think they called him, Rolk. I don't think they ever called him. They came with R. They didn't. No, I think, man, I, think, I thought I think they just made that up. I think I did. Uh, you know what? I have out on that. Ah, yes, Rolk. that's his name from now on. Rolk. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's excellent. All right, guys. So, patent it, Marvel. It, patent I own it. it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got it. All right, guys. So we're gonna move on to the number one. Now, before we go. Before we go. Whoops. Before we go. Pump the brakes. What? what? Pump the brakes. We already hear of Avengers 2. If anyone did not sit in the theater and sit their butt down, or when the DVD credits were going and didn't press the menu button, like some people I know, mm -hmm. and sat there and watched the credits, and at the very end, there was a certain scene you saw. Now, what do you think they're going to do with that? Personally, what I think they're going to do? Avengers 2 is going to come out. They're going to introduce um, a certain actually villain. before the Avengers comes out, mm -hmm. Ant Man movie. Ant Man, love Ant Man. Ant Man movie is going to come out. Yes. Ant Man, Hank Pym, Hank Pym, son. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So many high fives there. Like that. yeah, I love it. Right, so, so Hank Pym, it's it's going to focus between uh, more than just you know Ant Man. It's going to be Ant Man, Giant Man, of course. Mm -hmm. and then they're right. going to have like uh, Hank Wasp. Pym, and then they're going to have like Robert Kirkman's. Uh, the irrede irredeemable Ant Man is going to be in the movie. It's going to be like like time jumps or whatever. Yeah. And uh, they'll make. Uh, I think what they're going to do is Ultron. Ultron Five. That's scary. To have Ultron that help them scary. fight the the character that we saw at the end of, mm -hmm. of the Avengers, which is Thanos. For people who still don't Thanos. know who that purple guy is, uh, it's it's Thanos. I hope that when they do Thanos, I hope the Infinity Gauntlets in the middle of this, maybe. If I'll they show. do it, if they do it right, I mean, there'd be so, so much there. stuff to do in there, like Silver Surfer and all that stuff. Yeah, maybe, you know, it'll be the crap like they did in like, like uh, Fantastic Four two or whatever when they had like Galactus, Galactus Cloud as a giant. What was that? Fart word? Cloud. What was that? You didn't even see him do anything. Just whatever. Yeah, that that was clearly ridiculous and. Um, do you we think even, we'll ever see Fantastic Four again? Do you think? I have that question. If we there. see the Fantastic, if we see FF again, it'll be uh, it'll be later on after all this Avengers stuff and Marvel, Disney is still like, you know what, we got superhero movies we still do. But there's this, there's so many other heroes that you can do. You know what, before they do a, a FF movie, you know what I want to see? I want to see freaking uh, Iron Fist or something. You yes, know? Hero for Hire. Yeah, Luke Heroes Cage in Heroes for Iron movie. Fist. Heroes for Hire movie. Yes. Do that. Do I, it, Marvel. Do, you could do that. You could you could even do Galaxy so the, uh, Defenders of the Globe. Defenders of the Globe. The uh, freaking uh, uh, Nova. Okay. Nova. Give me a Nova movie. Nova. Give me a Nova movie. The whole power of the Nova Force. Please. Yes. You know, I'd rather see Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, than, I would love it. Than uh, would Fantastic Four at this point. Like, the you comics know. right now are doing pretty good, but... Yeah. That's such a skip ahead, you know? And just do Doctor Doom right, you know? Yeah. You get, like, the guy playing, like, Christian Troy from Nip Tuck as Doctor Doom. I'm like, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I'm just saying, like... You picked okay, the yeah, wrong I guy. I mean, no, no, no. It's that, not that they picked the wrong people. It's just that the movies were those actors. We know that they can do better than that. But it was. I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, because you seen them. Look at you, the Torch. He's Captain America now. He, he, Captain America was a freaking awesome movie, by the way. It was He's, a great movie. And the guy who played the thing, he was in the Shield. Yeah, he was. The, the, the TV, was. Sh the TV show on FX. He played a good role in that show. Yeah, Michael Chick. And it didn't make no sense. He was in some other superhero show that didn't last long, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot what it was. Doesn't matter. But right, it guys. don't matter anyway. But number still, one movie. Number, number one. one movie. You know what it is. You know what it is. Don't play.